In this video, we'll set up Mac OS Ventura for your Intel PC. So let me show you what we will do in this video. I will show you how you can create your bootable USB using Balena Etcher. Also, I'll guide you step by step on how you can achieve such setup for your uh, Akintosh. And as you can see, this is my Skylake CPU. So it's Intel Core i3. 6100 so it's a skylight but i will show you how you can spoof the kabilex cpu for it to work with mac os ventura also i will guide you on how you can do some post installation so you can achieve full graphics acceleration and without wasting much time so first of all we'll need to have a USB so let me show this so this is my Kingston data traveler so let me erase it and I'll go with GUID partition, make sure you have formatted GUID partition but if you are coming from Windows just use GPT so this process is just the same since you are going to use Balena Etcher which also in Windows is just the same so select from file just select your where your Ventura is so this is the Ventura Select the target and then we we'll select our USB and then hit on flash. Enter your password. So this process is going to take about 30 minutes. So it depends on the speed of your hard disk. So Let's wait for it to finish. As you can see, mine is estimated time. Flashing is complete. So what we need to do is we need to add our EFI to the partition. So just mount your EFI. And then delete the folder that is there and then come here and copy your UFI and then paste there Okay folks, so there we go. As you can see this USB is now ready to boot and install the Mac OS Ventura. So the next phase we're going to install the Ventura. So Okay folks, so last time we created our bootable USB for the Ventura so this is the last video until next week where they will release the Mac OS 14 so Thomas say why not install Mac OS Ventura for the last time since I got this SSD and in the previous video I installed Mac OS Ventura and Windows 11 but the install add issue with screen fl flickering so and in this video i'll fix that and in this skylake cpu so without wasting much time let me plug this one in and then we can 
install the Ventura and also if you need the EFI used add you can get the EFI so don't worry about it I'll put a, li a link in the description also if you need to purchase this solid state di drive also and this Kingston data travel so let me just plug it in and then we can continue So hit F12 on your keyboard and then select your USB for me is this Kingston data traveler hit enter and you will be greeted with such screen since I've already add my theme to this open call let me zoom in so that you can see so as you can see right here we have install Mac OS Ventura so I'm gonna hit enter on that one and it will start loading also in this EFI I have not used the verbose mode so you will not see any bubbles logs so it's just like this and then it will just load until this bar is finished so we can continue you can see there we have our mouse cursor okay so there we go so here we need to let me let's choose our language here and then we don't continue and we, you go to this boot this utility and then here just show just show all the device and just erase this one and I'll call it rent so I'm gonna erase that one going to take a few seconds so there it's done close disk utility and then hit on install mac os ventura continue agree to apple license and then there you go as you can see this is our the one that we have just formatted so let me just select that one and continue so guys the installation process is going to take like an hour or so or 30 minutes or less so i'll pause the video and come back when it's done for so the first restart is done so the next phase we're gonna go is the 29 minutes remaining as you will see on the So there we go we have 29 minutes remaining so I'm gonna just again pause the video and come when it's okay folks so it has just restarted and 
as you can see here let me zoom in as you can see it has just booted from our disk which is the vent and not the mac os installer so let us continue with the installation process let's hit on enter and it has just restarted so let's select our uh, Ventura disk then hit on enter so let's wait for it Okay, so there we go. There it is. That's our setup screen. So let's continue. Let me choose my region first. And then continue. I'll just leave it as default for now not now let me just say my computer does not connect to the internet and then continue and then continue not now agree and let me name it as I keep enter your password and add my password then continue so here we are it's creating our account so let's wait for that to finish creating our account and then we can continue right location service i don't need it so let me not use it but that one depends on you if you need it let me choose my region continue and check this one but if you need to share your analytics with apple you can check it but i don't want to share anything so continue set up later uh, disable Siri also it's not mandatory you can and uh, let's go with dark mode and there we go so let's set up our keyboard and done so there we go guys this is our Ventura as you can see at the time right there it's 10 sorry 16 12 so let me just go to the screencast and then we can continue 
from there. Okay, folks. So this is our. I'm here on my screencast. It has took me like uh, three minutes to set this up. So this guys, this is our newly installed Mac OS, and let me. So if you check the about this Mac, we can see this one is. Uh, iMac 21, iMac 18,1. So you go to system report, you can see from here the identifier is iMac 18,1. So and we have 16 GB of RAM, and our startup disk is event, and we have Intel. HD graphics 630 4GB. So I need to tell you guys that this one is a Skylake CPU. So I've just spoofed the Kabilex since support drop support for the Skylake on macOS Monterey. So we have this. So guys, that's it for this video. This is our Our newly installed Mac. So let me also okay. Let me just copy my. Let me copy my EFI from the from the flash drive to the hard disk EFI partition. So that the next next time we won't boot from the flash drive. Oh, and then I'll fix some few things here and there. Uh, okay, guys, that's it for this video. I'll leave this EFI if you have a similar machine with this. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can download it and use it. For free uh, so if you are new to this channel just subscribe to my channel share like the video and I'll see you next week for the installation of Mac OS 14 so that is for this video guys thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one